Well, I couldn't resist it. This absolutely gorgeous uh, Chromebook from Samsung, which is a Chromebook 2, I found out, by the way, that Peter sent me. Um, I had to find out what was wrong with it. As you know, we powered it up um, a little bit because it, the, missing that special cable. But, um, and as you can see, I've opened it up uh, all the way so it's supposed to be open up. And I have found out that it has a lot of bugs. It's sad too because it almost looked brand new, but uh, it has a lot of a lot of really bad defects in it. One of the major defects that it has is that you can see here the battery. This part of the lithium polymer battery is blown up. There is a small air ventilation hole here for a reason, so it doesn't catch fire or become a bomb. But as you can see, this one is bloated like a pillow, and this one is totally flat. It is supposed to be as flat here as it is here. It's a two-part battery, so technically it's like two batteries in one. And you can see this one is much fatter than this thin, flat area here. So the back battery here is a really strong, big, or four ampere battery, but it's gone, and it's very expensive to buy. So I'm, I'm not gonna, I wouldn't even fix the laptop because of this battery. Uh, because the laptop itself is sold cheaper today. You can get one for around 1500 Swedish crowners on the internet. Okay, um, another thing, um, it couldn't, I, I, I was thinking maybe I can use this just as a small uh, battery-less Chromebook where I can install Linux instead and just for fun. But I couldn't for the life of me install Linux on this Chromebook. I tried a 4 gigabyte SD card. I tried a 16 gigabyte SD card. I tried a flash disk. But I got the same error from um, from Chromebook every single time, and that is that it had no storage device, and that's one of the reasons why I opened this one up because I was thinking, well, it's got to have a storage device. Maybe I can change the SSD drive itself. Uh, no, bummer. It cannot be changed. I'll show you quickly though um, what the different parts are. This is the microprocessor that it has here. Is in um, Exynos, four, uh, four quad-core processors from Samsung. Uh, this particular model happened to have four gigabyte, and the RAM is here. These are RAM chips, and you find a dual uh, a quad set of RAM chips on this side as well. Let's see if you can blend in the lights; so you can see it easier. There you go. As you can see, these these are the memory chips, and this, my friends. This chip, particular chip here, is actually the eMMC uh, memory. This is the SSD hard disk. I found on the internet this little chip here, which is not easily changeable because, you know, um, you have to have a reflow oven in order to change these. This means I need to heat up the entire motherboard and then reheat it and, uh, you know, it's, it's a lot of complex stuff. I need to use some soldering uh, flow pa paste, special uh, solder paste in order to do this. And it's really hardcore to do, and I'm not really sure it's worth it. Um, but this one is the, the chip that is the eMMC hard disk, the SSD hard disk, if you like. It is a KLMAG2GACB031 for you technical people home there. This is a 16 gigabyte uh, uh, SSD hard disk. And it's just defective, it's just dead. So technically uh, I could easily just change the motherboard, but those parts are really expensive and I might as well buy a new one. So uh, there you have it. We uh, tried the fix, the Samsung. Chromebook 2 is a really modern uh, laptop too. It's just from two. It reveals that it's from 2014, uh, June or May, I think, something like that. So it's not really old at all. So it's sad that two expensive things are blown: the hard disk is blown and the battery is blown. Okay. But thanks anyway, Peter. It was fun for me to break it down and see what we could do about this thing. So you know, it could have hope. You never know. And I can maybe keep the screen for another cracked version, maybe one that has a cracked screen. So um, thank you, Peter. But um, that was all for now.